In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to cut out simple artwork like this and send it to the vinyl spooler for cutting. So the first thing we need to do is click on the button up here, which it sends the cut file to the send to be cut window. Click on that and you can send here, send to be cut. Now there's a lot of options here. I'll come back to these in a moment. I just want to show you how to cut some simple artwork like this. Okay, so we click cut now and it loads into the vinyl spooler. We click proceed with cutting and our cutter will immediately start cutting that artwork out. But often there's a lot of settings we want to change. So here we can set our cutter that we want to send our cut file to, how wide we want to cut it, the name of our cut file, the number of cut files we want to send to the vinyl spooler. This is where we do those, those settings there. We also uh, will see that the artwork's been automatically rotated for us. If we turn that off we get this warning because the artwork we have is too wide for our cutter. So we need to have it rotated as you can see there. The other thing we may want to do is cut it in mirror. That's because we might want to apply this on the other side of some glass so that when you look through the other side it, uh, it makes sense when it's, uh, when it's applied. So that's the mirror option there. Advance after plot, that just pushes the cut file out after it's completed so that you can cut it off and then start the next uh, project or the next cut file. Absolute position. Now that, what that's about is actually saving media. As you can see, if I have absolute position checked on, it tries to cut the cut file in the same position as it is in the original artwork. And sometimes you need to do that. But if you want to save media, you uncheck that and you can see it saves that media there. Uh, separate by colour. We'll come back to that because I'll show you a, a coloured job. Registration marks. That just adds a little mark in each corner so that you can line up all your indi uh, individual tiles on top of each other and get them perfectly aligned. Auto speed weed, that's a great feature for um, saving uh, time weeding out your vinyl because it puts a box around with a line. Um, it's a very handy feature to have. Uh, if it encounters some text inside another object that it can't speed weed, it's going to give you a warning like that. Auto weed box puts a box around the, uh, the edge of the artwork which also assists in weeding. Another great feature is the easy lift weed marks. As you can see, these apply to the centre of these holes here which means that when you go to weed them it's much more quick. Um, and obviously speed weed text only. You can see the now open above here, that wouldn't work on that arrow, it would ruin the arrow, so that's why we wouldn't use that in that particular case. I'll come back to how to deal with that in a moment. Okay, so other options that we'd want to set in this window are the uh, blade offset. Some cutters need the blade offset to be set and you can, do, you can actually calibrate that in the vinyl spooler and you can set it here as well. Other settings are things like the position of the artwork, where you want it positioned on the actual uh, vinyl that you've got. Here I can offset it by this amount here, and then I can reset that. I can also set the weed box offset by default here as well. Other things we may want to do are perforation cuts. These are things for like craft, where you want to uh, pounce or you want to cut out or score card, and you need to set these parameters here so that it cuts it out in that way so that you can actually uh, fold your card etc. They're, they're craft applications. So that's where you would do all those things. Um, and you just set, set it to object defaults when you don't want to do that. You just want to have st standard cutting. So once we're ready to cut we simply click cut now. Loads in the vinyl spooler as we've set it all up with like easy lift marks. Click yes, sends it straight to our cutter and uh, that artwork is now cut. Okay. Now, I was talking to you before about um, reverse fill. You can see this now open text here. We want to cut that out of the arrow, but it's text, and although it's black, as you can see here, we've applied a reverse fill to it uh, so that we can actually see it above the arrow. So that's this button up here in the top right corner here, this reverse fill button. What that does is it actually shows the text in off-white. Now, when I turn it off, you can see the text is black, but when I turn that on, it shows that text in an off-white color so we can see it above our arrow. And that's a way of uh, being able to cut text on or any object on top of another object and still see it. Now what I can do is I can uh, combine these two together, which means that the text is no longer text anymore, it's curves, and as you can see it loads in. And when I speed weed it, it actually speed weeds around the arrow. So that's one way of dealing with that problem as well. Sometimes you'll have to do that depending on the artwork you're cutting. And uh, now you can see when I speed weed all of it, it speed weeds the arrow, not the text inside the arrow, because I've converted it to curves by combining those two objects together. So that's how reverse fill works. Now back to colour again. Okay, so I'm just going to change this, uh, this job to a coloured job. And uh, I'll show you how in the vinyl spooler, uh, sorry, in the uh, send to be cut um, module, you can actually uh, colour separate. So we've changed that job, now we're going to send it to the send to be cut module. We click separate by colour 
and we can see that it's immediately uh, color separated all our artwork for us automatically. We don't have to do it individually and you can see all the colors load in uh, saving media in the bottom right hand corner like so. So that's how we separate by color. We simply check that box. If we click spool all it'll send all the colors to the vinyl uh, spooler. If we just click cut now it'll set the only the, the, the color we have selected to the spooler. In this case we've selected all of them, we've spooled it all and you can see they're all loaded in here in their colors under their job name ready to cut out. Okay so that's how we send colored artwork to the uh, vinyl spooler. Now talking about the vinyl spooler this is like a management utility as you can see here it has all my colors separated by their name and I can set all sorts of things like my uh, cut file options here I can change my connection and the type of cutter I have and here I can calibrate the things like blade offset that I was talking about earlier. So the vinyl spool is a great management utility. When I'm ready to cut a colour I simply click cut now, it shows me where it's going to actually cut it, I click yes and it sends it off to the cutter and the cutter cuts, starts cutting it. And you can see that it then places it in the done folder here and I'll cut another colour like this uh, butterfly here and you can see that's now loaded in the done folder like so. So this is a great way of managing your cut files and uh, you can drag and drop your cut files to different folders in the vinyl spooler and set all your parameters etc. So that's how you cut uh, simple artwork and coloured artwork in the software. Thank you.